beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Blessed be your name. Express yourself in the spirit. God is here. You came for him. This is part of the meeting. This is how we do it here. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. of the living God we thank you
majesty, mighty, great. Hallelujah. Do you know that God is in the midst of his people? This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are. I truly hail you, most high. I hail you. I worship you. I hail you, most high. See, the presence of God is that one factor that must be present in any meeting for people to be changed. Pastor Jakes powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered. Until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please greet somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can.
we call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of For ye are come unto Mount Zion, that mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect, to the church of the firstborn, where he has chosen to leave us with the charisma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, tonight let your kingdom reign in our hearts. There are angels moving around, just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. Like him, he 
He's the lion and the lamb. He's seated on the throne. See, this is not a special number. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Just listen to me. I'm ministering to your spirit. Who is this God? He's the Lion and the Lamb seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in His presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life that no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. Empre toko pa yada kava, sote tete kepata, membro toske bali kata, shemeketa yabo kosopa. I bless the Lord upon the fountain of the spirit. Let there be a breaking, an opening of spiritual. I'm calling you higher, say the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 2 verse 8. First Thessalonians 2.
18, I'm sorry, not 8. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire for you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction, the build up, the character, and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom. Week after week, this is our project. To unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom. Because when you find it, then you will be able to operate in mastery. In the last one or two months, we have been unveiling a lot of things. Opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life. All of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another. To open you up to the spiritual dimension the bible says they know not neither do they understand they grope in darkness confusion and as a result the earth is out of course have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes and the remedy is an unveiling this is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. It says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. He said they are life to those who find them. Health to their flesh. It will take your understanding of spiritual things. It is understanding that will reduce Satan to become nothing in your life. Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. 
hindered the blessing, hindered the lifting, hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit. But Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have a fourth time been given. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how awe-inspiring are your ways. It says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore, by now you would have been lifted. By now your family would have risen to a level. You would have stepped into another dimension. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now. Your destiny helpers have desired to come to you. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, your life partner would have come into your life. You would have been happily married with dignity and honor, but Satan hindered them. Wherefore, that job, that opening, but Satan hindered us. This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry and I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for Koinonia years ago, but Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight with all your efforts to bring them, but Satan. I need you to know that Satan is determined to frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything. In obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen. We have been explaining these things right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain, there are giants. Hear me. There are forces of darkness stationed across the earth. To ensure that men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad 
and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The moment he, he speaks about breakthrough, what happens? Next verse. Can you give us from Amplified? Is it possible? Please, Amplified. Then I lifted up my eyes and behold, four horns. Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I've not been taught. What are these? Many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I have not been taught. No, I wasn't given this insight that after a promise there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? If it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody. Sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find. Just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen. One for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. 
One for each horn. He said to beat it down. 21. Then said I, what are these horns or smith? So Satan sends his horn. See, let me tell you something. Go to verse 19. He said, these are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? He says, and he said, these are the horns or powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries so that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads. So that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads. That's the job. Every time anyone in your family is about to rise, they contend in your academics, in your finance. The moment you begin to pray, after one week your prayer life dies. The horn. The moment you have faith and say lord i trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down are you listening to me the moment a ministry starts blossoming the men of god are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations they forget that there are four horns let the lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise the moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity i desire to give you increase but there are four horns there are four horns there are many families represented here. What you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different. Between that dream and the manifestation are four horns. They are gates. Are you following me tonight? I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four horns. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain forever. And you will not lift up your hands. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. 
the moment they pay your father's salary everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish you marry a man who was loving and caring suddenly he becomes a Dracula four horns tonight we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness are you hearing what I'm saying let me tell you Satan can bow are you hearing me Satan can bow you must get angry in your spirit don't just sit and watching others forget about what is happening and concentrate there's no space sit around find somewhere and sit tonight when it's time to pray I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig, pack your wivon, keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. It didn't say it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jakes made a statement. Look at me. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body. There are two errors. One is the error of saying, see, everybody. I have the same access to God. Are you hearing me? I have the same access to God. There is nothing there. No man of God is special and this. Or the one that men of God make themselves semi-gods. Both are wrong. But let me tell you something clearly this night. Not every human being is a human being. The anointing has changed some people. The Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ, but we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and say, You. I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. It's an office. To terrorize the works of darkness. See, let me tell you this night. Whatever power, hear me. I'm speaking under the unction of the Lord. Whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life, except God is not the God of heaven, it must give up on you this night. I said it must give up on you this night. I don't care. I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you. Every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life, it will bow this night. Hey. He said, but I have sent carpenters. They are around, scattered over the earth. The only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them. Jesus went to certain cities. They saw him. Until he ascended to heaven. And they said, is this the man that has been among us? See, let me tell you. One of the greatest revelations you have in this life. Is that some people have been called. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. 
when the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people. Very oppressed people. Messed up by Satan. It was a whole generation of people. And I saw them crying. And while they came close, I was hearing the sounds of their cry. And they were blaming me in the vision. And I said, what is wrong? And they said, there is no food and no water. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation. This is a vision I had. Listen to me, please. Hallelujah. And when that happened, I told them, who is the cause? Who is the reason why you are the way you are? And they said, you are the one. Suddenly, compassion fell on me. And I said, I'm going to come out right now. I, I got to that tower. I was trying to hide from somebody. That was when I looked through the mirror and I saw that thing. It was fear and timidity that made me to run like Gideon to go and hide in the vision. But the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse. They said no food and no water. These two things. Hallelujah. And I was determined that I was going to go out. The moment I opened the door, because I was afraid that I was alone. When I opened the door, there was a giant person that stood. And he said, hold my hands. We will go together. He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you. Every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial. There are some people that certain graces have elected them. Hallelujah. In one other vision, I was in a whole city and I found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed. And I was crying because there were people that were sick. I said, what is all this? What is going on here? And I had a voice. He said, go and heal them. That was the end. So when people hear that HIV positive is changing to negative, or when people hear that genotypes are changing, rather than finding out, they keep criticizing and castigating. We don't announce any miracle here without verification. He said, but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these horns. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology. It didn't work. They are called horns. But the Bible says, My head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and you have anointed me with fresh oil. 
Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. First Corinthians six verse nine. Shila bakata prato soto balakata. Are you there? What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One, two, read. One, two, read it again. For a great door and effectual is opened up to me. And there are many, a great door is opened. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have said before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes to an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh -uh. there are kingdom principles and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say I am one of those carpenters <laughs> hallelujah there are some of you who don't sleep when you close your eyes you are oppressed I was one of those people the Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field tonight we have come to call the devil a liar I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, Worthy is the Lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things He has received and He has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed, I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody 
appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? With big syringe, injected this man with HIV virus and he woke up physically with the virus. That devil is a liar. Come on now. Years ago, I used to pray for barren people and they were not healed. They didn't give birth. It disturbed me. And I went back. I said, Lord, what, what is it? Then the Lord told me, barrenness is not sickness. It's an oppression. It doesn't require healing. There is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I healed the sick and I raised the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say, I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes financial carpenters apostolic carpenters one of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty in the church is one of it i hate the effect of poverty on many families more ladies have entered prostitution they didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. But you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it by your do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I am just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says, Daniel, in chapter 10, remember... How that Daniel was praying and fasting, wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says, the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11, verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says, the prince of Persia withstood the angel 20 and 1 day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, Now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. 
There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. I've shared it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chiki Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for a ministration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week. And an open heavens. And you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us, yet you are coming. Because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. 
and say now everybody is lamenting if there is nobody i am an ambassador say it i'm an ambassador you're an ambassador this is why god is bringing you and you are going to pray as you pray first for yourself and then through the fire of the holy ghost you will dislodge powers over your life and then you will see testimonies rolling in suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get suddenly there is an open heaven your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if satan does not exist hallelujah nobody ever came to jesus christ hear me after he went 40 days and 40 nights satan came to withstand him because jesus wanted to come to the people like paul but satan withstood him when he defeated satan suddenly on the mountain people started coming along the water side people said, what happened powers were dislodged this night hear me you are not praying for healing you are confronting the gates of darkness rise up on your feet everybody rise up on your feet listen 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 i want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight are you hearing what i'm saying say heaven is backing me say it, heaven is backing me because we are going to pray now and by the power of the holy spirit i tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies after this night's meeting you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family they are not as ordinary as they look you are the holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost you are the holy ghost take your place number one hallelujah you're going to pray and say in the name of jesus i confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to form. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow.
The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You are going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, I am in a vision right now. He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baranda. holding baskets. Hear me? Yes. But the baskets are empty. Listen. Say good. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying these baskets will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? See? Hear me? See he said, and I will restore. See Hear me? Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. something Rest to me. We are still praying on the third point. Rest the Lord said Rest we should call back opportunities Rest that were either missed or wasted. Rest are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Rest either by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, Rest it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me? 
I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will come back. Yes. Yes. Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. I, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes... As this power is taking some human beings become victims we don't kill people but whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise you will pray it is that lift your voice
I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, You are called Israel, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, me. He says, And the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing birthing new and mighty things in the spirit we are stepping into a dimension see for when you are faithful with what God gives you he said he measured a thousand cubits and it was to the ankle and when he saw that you were faithful he measured a thousand cubits many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace you can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be this is ushering season for when God wants to bless you he will first increase the anointing then enlarge your sphere of influence you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made hallelujah you love this ministry I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out listen you're going to pray for the ministers see the way ministers are falling around like leaves immorality all kinds of things I've said it any man can fall from any height are you hearing what I'm saying and if you love us pray for us pray for us we are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace, hear me, hear the prayer point, and fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe 
to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become epistles of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for Ian. <laughs> Lord, we step in into this new of glory, into this apostolic, evangelical, and prophetic season. Come on, pray. Pray, Koinonia. of the ministry our school of ministry God is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you are going to pray for our students you are going to pray for the missions hallelujah you are going to pray for koinonia you are going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you are going to say Lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you are going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble Let's go. Let's 
something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, with Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you that everything we stand for your life must represent it see if you do not represent what we stand for we are fake it means we are lying it means we are faking power somewhere if we are healing the sick you should heal the sick you must not be in ministry if we are humble and you are arrogant there is something wrong with the transference of spirits hallelujah I want to pray for you I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night every power every force against any area of your life this night if I be sent as a servant of God if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters I pray right now those powers bow Bow! Bow! Emma. Bow! Emma. Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night I release you in the name of Jesus. Emma. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. The heavens be open over you. Amen. Let the heavens be open over you. Amen. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic 
unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three fold blessings. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here. Let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us. Let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kodiste, Jos, angels in the name of Jesus. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take it. 
Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. The spirit of dominion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crown open up for you. Let the crown open up for you. Let the earth answer to you. Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth of finance to do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities My finances are not speaking and he says keep tithing and he says Lord this is four years at least give me a consolation let someone sow a shoe into my life let me just verify that it's working and God says no it, it doesn't have to be verified my integrity has been tested too many times just continue one day hear me you will cast the last tithe that will cause your vapor the, the cloud in the sky. The Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain. Let me tell you the power of consistency. A man of God gave this analogy and it blessed me so much. If your rain is supposed to fall, hear me, as a result of a tank being filled, your consistency is like the size of the vessel you are using. Are we together? Some of you will use a spoon and pour water in the tank and wake after five years and you are crying. Whereas there are people looking for anything they can fetch this water with. Are we together? They finish praying for eight hours. They just call and say, ah, your mother's case has become worse. They say, no problem. Consistency. I will continue. You know why people fail? We doubt our convictions when results don't come. And the secret is not to do anything else. It's just to continue doing what you are doing. The ministry of the word, prayer and obedience will always be the master key to all things. Are we together? The law of honor, for instance, was designed to lift men to enviable dimensions. For three years, you have honored everyone. 
but nothing has seemed to work in your life. There was a time in my life I sowed seeds. I was almost sowing myself. Are we together? I, I gave tithes. I gave tithes for seeds that had not yet come to me. I took whole. For instance, if someone gave me 20,000, I will remove 2,000 and still sow 18,000 in advance for 180,000 I expected. That's how much I stretch my faith. Yet nothing seemed to happen. Absolutely nothing. Are we together? We prayed and we cried and we asked God to intervene in certain situations. He didn't come. Oh, he didn't show up. The worst happened, I tell you. But it did not change our convictions. Is God speaking to someone here? We have this this low capacity that every time things do not happen the way we expect, we just feel we are wrong. The key may be to keep knocking. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says ask and keep asking. Give us Matthew 7, 7, please. Amplified. Ask and keep asking. Knock and keep knocking. Seek and keep seeking. You don't knock once. Are we together? Is God challenging us? Consistency. Show me a man that is unbending on his pursuit. Show me a man with a bulldog kind of resilience. I show you a man who will weary failure till he lets him go. You know, I said something. If I wake up tomorrow morning blind, I assure you by night, my eyes would have opened. Many of us are not desperate for miracles. The way you approach life, very easy, play it safe, let's be intelligent, we went to school. No, receivers are desperate people. And there are people who will stay. January miracle service, Lord, I'm trusting you for that cancer. You go back to the hospital, the result says even multiplying. February miracle service you stand again by March the devil said don't mock yourself are you not seeing how close you are to your grave write a book quickly so that at least your children will have something to eat with and you refuse the pain is still there I know one thing that can weary Satan I used it against him persistence I tell you you may not have every spiritual strength you need you may not understand all the mysteries, but a man who refuses to bend, you have wearied Satan forever. Don't forget that the strength of darkness is the fatigue of humans. The devil knows, listen to my message, why revivals fail, why revivals die. The humanity of men. Satan knows that I cannot be praying forever. And while I'm praying, 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 it looks like nothing is happening. And then the devil just makes it look like there are many ways to get to the palace. Find an alternative. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Are we together? I remember those times I used to borrow shoe and borrow suit to go and preach. When they invited me for a ministration, the person to give me shoes is different. The person to give me suit, at least I could afford shirt. I don't even know how I got it. Are we together? I would wear it and look smart. And sometimes the painful part of it is you'll be asked to teach on prosperity. Do you know how painful it is to teach on something you are a victim of? It takes faith. You are preaching on prosperity. Your shoe is borrowed. Suit borrowed. Yet you have the audacity to say God is still faithful. And someone comes to you. The little honorarium that time, one, two thousand, somebody says he's hungry. You now give him 500 naira from it. They believe you are so rich. And you believe it is true. Even though you do not have any evidence persistence 
I remember a time when God, I don't know how many times in my life I have emptied my account. I tell you, it will only take maybe my account officer to help calculate. I mean empty 0 0.00 naira. Not, not reserved for rainy days. I assure you that rainy day will come if you don't secure the roof over your head through diligence and consistency. There were times I would go for ministration and the moment I'm done, God knows that I may not even have transport to go back. And the people will say, man of God, Kai, you are such an anointed man. We'll get back to you and uh, the Lord bless you. Usually God, Kai, I love this God. Quarter to shame, he always shows up. When, when you are about to, when, when it's supposed to backfire, he will just come with a strategy. That's to tell you he's watching. Are we together? God is speaking to someone here. What you may need is not a new principle. You already know the principle. What you need is grace to remain there. Oh, you already know the keys. You have been taught. The fear of the Lord. You have been taught. The ministry of destiny helpers. You have been taught. The key is not to learn something new. The key is to stay there and strike on that wall. Oh God, it's five years I'm still barren. They call you at home and say, we just found some, somebody new. Better than the former herbalist. This guy is more effective. I say, no. Stay there. That's what by the grace of God has brought us thus far. Do you know, brothers and sisters, I submit to you. The miracles and the things that God has been doing in my life. And is doing in my life right now. I had to go back and ask, what am I doing that is new? I found out I wasn't doing anything new. The season had just come. Ah! There is something called an appointed time. When your heavens open. Five minutes to your appointed time, it will still look ordinary. Nothing. Ordinary until that downpour just comes on you you will have to call people to say ah, ah, what what is happening you would think it's because of something you told god yesterday no your consistency is now paying off so the day the child will come first child triplets second child twins people say oh god take it easy and say don't ask me to take it easy i waited eight years this is Balance one per year. And you add and balance it eight, eight of them. Are we together? Turn to your neighbor and say, I know my season will come. Are we together? Sometimes, let me tell you, listen to my message, spiritual timings. It may be that God is preparing a table for you in a way. He wants to garnish that celebration and put honor upon your life. If Joseph were released in Potiphar's house, he would have gone back to his father's house. They would have clapped for him for safe arrival. Go back to the farm and take care of the animal. But God said, no, I need to lift this man. He leads me and guides me. To the city up above, he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Hallelujah. I have seen blessings upon my life. The things I used to wish that people would do for me. They do it today and call it a privilege. I fought the Abuja people and they said, Man of God, whether you agree or not, we have come together and we must celebrate your birthday. We are not asking you to bring anything. Years ago, I would have begged. Oh, why don't you celebrate it? Thank God for the mind he gave me to not even frustrate myself. But today, 
the blessings of God. Let me tell you something. What you see that is a mockery to your life will not last forever. You were not born with it. I prophesy to you, you wouldn't die with it. Are we together? Who said it will be out rent issue forever? Do you not know it has an expiry time? You are paying the rent and they are insulting you, but you are tightening. Just keep watching. You are investing in yourself. Just keep watching. Oh, the naysayers are talking. Let them talk. You need them. They are the enemies that God will prepare a table for you before. Don't stop them. Don't say, Shh, keep quiet. Let them shout the problem loud. So when the solution comes, they will know your God is alive. Are we together? Never be embarrassed when you are crying. Never allow your pain. They will misunderstand you. You will weary yourself trying to explain yourself. It's a waste. They are called critics. They are not friends. For you are God alone. From before time began. You were on your throne. You were God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. For you are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Yes, but you are still in 300 level. Let me tell you, if you wore a matriculation gown, you will wear a convocation gown. I'm not motivating you. This is a prophetic message from the depth of my heart. I show you a secret that where is Satan? When I found it, that Satan had a weak point. Consistency. Where is him? Consistency does not mean you will not be tired. You are humans. But with the tears in your eyes, you are saying, I will continue. Lord, you seem so far away. A million miles on what it is today. And though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray. That's someone's testimony right now. But I don't know what to say And I don't know where to start But as you give the grace We all that's in my heart I will sing I will pray Even in my darkest hour Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true. I will see. Hallelujah. I asked a gentleman to come here. He was about committing suicide from what he told me. Just a few minutes before Koinonia started from aviation. He called me and said, I'm about to take my life, I'm about to kill myself. And I said, come for miracle service. I hope he's here. Let me tell you something. You want to bring joy to the devil? Let him watch you cry in weariness. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's greater than death. Let me tell you, Satan's ultimate desire is not death. That torture pleases him more than death. He likes to see when people cry in defeat. So this is how my life will be. So I went to school for nothing. I paid school fees for nothing. So this is how I will not get married. I'm 39. This is what is going to happen in my life. Oh, so this HIV is true. I thought it was joke. But right now, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I have six months to die. And the devil loves that. That's exactly what he wants. 
But when he finds people like us who say, Lord, <laughs> blessings or no blessings, you have done something to me. Ah! The moment you hear bad news, before it lands, you attack it with tongues. And the devil will say till now, and you say you are joking. You've not seen anything else. When you are about to be weary, another strength comes. He dug a well and they covered it. He said, no problem, we will dig again. Dug another well and they covered it. He said, no problem. I learned a lesson from the ants. My toilet has a little compartment. And I started noticing ants because of the rain. They were trying to make a house somewhere there. Are you getting the point? I deliberately refused to pour water on them because the Bible says we should learn from the ants. I'm not a fool, but I'm wise enough to learn from them. I kept watching these ants day and night. And I think when, I'm tr when I traveled, I'm sure my people that work for me came and just cleaned that toilet and washed everything. But I was surprised. I thought they would cry. When I got back, I found out they had started again. I said, my message for tonight, consistency. Consistency. Have you seen men who you thought it was their end? And after two years, Mama, are you still alive? He said, I'm still alive. Oh. I told you I would not die. At a point in time, family members will even discuss and say, look, let's just encourage her. I think we should release her. Mama says, you are joking. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what the devil has put as a load upon your head and has spoken to you that you will never see the other side of the miracle. I want to announce to you that today, today, that situation must change. Are we together? Yes. Not everybody here is here because they are sick. But I tell you, more people have gone through hell from January till today than they have in the last 10 years. Walk on the road and see people talking to themselves. You think they are talking to you until you wave them and you find out they are not even seeing you. Frustration. They are about to give up. I don't know how many car accidents we saw today. And we did not see the other car that was hit. Meaning the person threw himself. Out of frustration. The devil. There is a plot from the kingdom of hell. To weary believers. And make them think God is not faithful. Because that's the whole goal. News after news. Bad news after bad news. And at a point you sit down and say. Kai, is this thing working? Whether I eat my tight or I pay it, I found out that the same result happens. Nothing. Let me tell you something. It's the waiting process that takes time. The manifestation comes speedily. Learn this. Manifestation does not come with time. It comes overnight. Overnight. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, to me. I want you to make two decisions tonight. One, that you will never complain and grumble again. It looks like an impossible situation. But I want you to make that determination that from today, 
I will never find myself opening my mouth to say, God, why? Why me? Why not you? Who else? Make a decision today. Hear me at this miracle service that you will never complain again. That you will tell yourself, my God is good all the time. Regardless of my experiences. This is how I am. You will never hear me open my mouth and say, God, why now? I wanted tea. Only sugar came. Can you bring bomb vita and hot water? No. God, you are faithful at all times. Are we together? The Bible says a merry heart do it good like medicine. Right? Make that decision. Decision number two. Make up your mind to be ever thankful. Ever thankful. Not when you get a testimony. Make it a lifestyle. Many of us thank God when they give you a testimony. Oh, a new shoe just arrived. A new tie just arrived. You must make up your mind. Let people believe that every day is Christmas or New Year for you because of your attitude of gratitude. People come to your house and you say, Lord, I thank you because you are faithful. Thank you for abundance. You are a good God. And your friend says, I thought you said you just have Gary, no sugar. You say, exactly. Say, somebody just sent you an alert. Abby. No, my God is faithful. That's how I am. In Nigeria, yes, that's how I am. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks. God is ministering to you. To the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ. His son, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ. Sing it with faith in your heart. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. And let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what? challenging you to make decisions that will keep you consistent number one avoid complain nothing slows down consistency nothing produces inconsistency as a life full of bitterness and complain and grumbling let me tell you something murmuring is sin murmuring is not just wrong write it down murmuring is sin you find out from scripture how people perished for murmuring the bible says they limited the holy one by murmuring complaining lord you should have done this lord you should have done this and make a decision under god advise yourself that I need to be consistent and I will never find myself murmuring and complaining again. That does not mean everything will be a bed of roses, I tell you. Challenges will come. But you must make up your mind. Make up your mind that you will not murmur. Number two, thanksgiving, I told us. That's the second decision that will make you consistent in life. Thanksgiving. Whether you have a reason to be thankful or not, find a reason. One of our dear ladies in Lagos, we were at their house yesterday to visit with the family. And um, I think I've shared the story. She may even be following online right now. This lady about three years ago, during her birthday, 
her friends just poured um, I can't remember what they poured now caustic soda and the lady became blind on her birthday her friends careless friends rejoicing without sense poured caustic soda and now the lady for three four years now is blind but let me tell you I've not seen a human being happier than that lady till yesterday I promised her that the next time we were in Lagos, we would visit her. We were so tired yesterday, but I made up my mind to visit with the family. And when we got there, she was blind. When she felt my hands, she was shouting, ah, Apostle, she was so happy. They were the first people to give me a birthday gift. Lovely father, lovely mother, lovely everyone. And the lady was so happy, joyful. Never for once did she tell me, Apostle, but will my eyes open? It seemed as though it was not even her business. She was talking to me that she was going abroad because she was in 300 level when she went blind. So nothing for schooling again. She was saying, Apostle, I want to go abroad and study psychology and counseling. And we're laughing. That's a blind person. A blind lady who would have planned to be married maybe by now. Supposedly her destiny shattered. Is it not when your eyes is open that you can see money to collect? very happy lady she challenged me sincerely i thought about that experience even while we came today i said my goodness that means your circumstances do not have to determine the extent of your joy your gratitude you can choose to respond instead of reacting oh this is unfavorable but god is still faithful and lord i thank you everybody say thank you jesus Say it from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When you thank God, you frustrate Satan. Thank you, Jesus. I thought my, my pension will come. It's five years now. But I thank you. You are still faithful. I thought we'll be able to complete the house in 2014. But till now, we've not even lifted it to lintel level. But I thank you that I have a land. I may not have a structure on it. In one minute, can you find everything God has done in your life and tell him thank you? Forget about what he has not done. If you do not have anything, you are a liar. Go ahead, mention them. Go ahead and mention them. Lord, you are faithful. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for life, for strength, for health. Tell him thank you. I may not have a house but I am sane enough to even think of sleeping. Are you grateful Koinonia? Those outside, for some of you this is your miracle. As you are thanking God, you will find out that that sickness is no more there. It responds to gratitude. Lord I may not have money but thank you I have an account that is ready to receive your favor Hallelujah Hallelujah. Decision number three that will help you become consistent and persistent is to walk in love. Walk in love. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Once there is no love in your heart, you just puncture the tank of your destiny. Get set for an empty tank. The moment there is no love, it's better that you do not have faith it's better that you do not have faith I guarantee you when all else fail in your life make sure your love does not fail love the antidote to offense you will find men and women who will be sarcastic they will say things ah are you aware that that woman is barren in case they've not told you know it now it's been 8 years all the children you see in a house are adopted. 
when you hear such a news it can break your spirit what if your own friends let you down what if those you trust you committed secrets to them about your life and they dashed it on the floor let me tell you something the bible says blessed are you when you are not offended there are a thousand and one reasons to be offended. Believe me when I tell you I have no offense in my life. There is no man on earth that is in any blacklist. I don't even have it. I'm a happy person. Every list is white. Vision and fulfillment. No blacklist. Now, as a leader, you can imagine how people treat you every day. From waking up to all kinds of things. On the road, someone wants to jam you. And then he's insulting you again. And you now turn and tell him, your father or your mother. Or whatever it is that you want to use. And then you quickly remember that, ah, there's miracle service today. Now, Are we together? People can be so foolish, they can annoy you. People can be so careless, they can annoy you. Your loved ones can be so insensitive. But you must make up your mind today that you will walk in love. Walk in love and watch how cheap Satan is. Watch how the mountains before you will melt like wax. It says love never fails. Everybody repeat it after me. In Nigeria, where we are looking for insurance and guarantee, I give you one. Are we together? Many insurance companies will come and say, come and work with us. Do business with us. We are 150 years old. We can insure you. We can insure your life and your car. I found something in life that does not fail. Greater than potentials. Love never, not love can fail and then readjust itself love never fails, I give you the fail proof, the fail proof key to living walk in love genuinely and passionately make room for love in your heart, towards people you don't like, towards people who insult you make up your mind that forever the love of God has consumed me and you will see how the anointing will multiply in your life you will see how God will let me tell you I have used this in my life God has used love to turn mountains what my faith could not do my love did for me forever I am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty sing majesty majesty sing majesty majesty forever we are changed forever we are changed by your love we're in the presence of I'd like you to pray for yourself in one minute and say Lord take away bitterness from my heart that 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 spirit of bitterness and anger that rejoices when I'm afflicting pain at others oh apostle you don't know what they did to me I don't care I don't care what happened to you walking in love is a choice Walking in love is a choice. Hear me, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You can choose to walk in love. I will never forget, forgive that woman until Jesus comes. Then you are not ready to see the power of God in your life. The third decision that can make you consistent is to walk in love. Anytime, every time, at all times. Hallelujah. 
never allow yourself be a victim of communicating lack of love I hate this person are you aware that I hate Pastor Alpha are you aware that I hate Mama I'm just keeping quiet the day his cup will be full see let me tell you those who talk like that never go far don't you ever think you will compromise on the law of love and get miracles only herbalists give miracles without love the the initiator of miracle is love he was moved with compassion he saw them as sheep without shepherd although they were insulting him he said father forgive them for they know not what they do love love the last decision that will help you become consistent are you ready is vision vision the Bible says without vision the people perish the word perish was not accurately translated the word there is to cast off restraint in other words to veer off from a path vision and nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophecy that backs it nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophetic word that came with that vision I may not remember what I said, but God told me. I remember. God told me I will build that house. I remember what he told me in 200 level. That I will be a PhD holder. God told me. Prophecy is powerful. It keeps men consistent. The moment you are about to gas out, a prophetic word comes. And God says, what did I tell you before you got married? Did I not tell you after four years I will lift you? You are just in the third year. Don't give up. My word still stands. And it supplies strength. And you can fire on. What did I tell you before you would start that business? I told you that I will lift you. And so you stand. Many of us forget the prophetic words upon our lives. We trivialize it. Now, I know that we live in a generation where everybody is a prophet. Somebody just sees you and says something that is not worth remembering. But I tell you, when you hear something that is of God, there are things God has spoken about in my life, I even forgot them. When they happened, I went back, I had to go back and check my notes and said, my God, you said this. You said this. The first time God spoke to me about Koinonia was 2005. I wrote it down, but I didn't pay attention. So when God spoke to me about starting it, I think it was last year or so, I was going through all of my notes during my retreat and I saw it there. I said, my goodness. When God speaks, hear me, he is worth believing. Whether you have any evidence or not, just believe him foolishly. God, you said by December, I will own a house. This is June. There is no land available. I have 5,000 in my account, home and abroad. And God says, so what? I never told you you will buy the house. I said you will have a house. There are many ways to have a house. It can be given. Someone can lack his sleep and God says, this is the man to bless. You know, many of us don't believe God can move in these dimensions. I believe him. Absolutely. I believe him. Are we together? I believe God with all my heart because I know he is faithful. There are things he has said to us as a ministry. There are things he has said to me as a person. I have watched one by one. One by one. And there are many more that will come to pass. I want to ask you a question. What has God said concerning your life? What prophecy has come upon you? As a family of faith, God declared unto us that this is our year of what? Multiplied grace and influence. God saw fuel crisis when he made that statement. God saw the dollar nose diving, the naira nose diving when he made that statement. It's up to you to remain consistent or join those who are making noise and perish with them. God's obsession is to be trusted. He wants to be trusted. Are we together? If he said it, I believe it. 
if it does not work at least I won't die but I know that I believe him do you believe God let me tell you something there is nothing God will tell you that looks possible if God tells you something that looks possible you didn't hear him because God speaks from his realm he will never tell you what is possible your brain and your job can tell you save to 200,000 in five months you have one million go and buy Toyota Camry that's your brain but God says I will give you the treasures of darkness and he said God how the how is none of your business here's how the Bible puts it he said just as you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so also you do not know the way of the Lord God works in mysterious ways are we together somebody called me he's getting married next month and he said they did the budget they, they updated it and it was 2.7 I said how much do you have and he said he has 40,000 and I said don't, don't laugh I'm, I'm, listen it's not an irresponsible person I can tell you this it's just that he, he's in a situation right now and he needs a miracle and he said man of God will this thing come to pass I said, you even have 40,000 and you are complaining. Ask those who had only five loaves and two fish and were about to feed 5,000 people immediately. Time was not given. Immediately, five loaves. I love Jesus. What a man that inspires me. Five loaves and two fishes. And he said, ask them to sit down. If you don't believe God enough to sit down, no bread for you. You have to, you have to prove that you, sitting down means be at rest. Because your standing is, let me watch in case it doesn't happen. Let me quickly dodge. And God says, I don't walk like that. You must be still. Then you will know that I am God. You can't be busy and say, Lord, be proving it while I wage my faith. Because I'm used to you disappointing me. No. Ah! I love Esther. If I perish, I perish. Are there such people this night? Men who will believe God. I'm motivating you and speaking over your life to continue and be consistent. Who told you it will never come to pass? The person who is laughing at you is also on earth trying to figure out his own life. What confidence do they have? It's like two people, you are writing exams and the person is laughing and say you are sweating, Abby. Whereas he's writing the same exam. Is he not foolish? I'm speaking to somebody here by the spirit of the living God that the Egyptians you see today that have mocked you, Kabakasuta Pratika Pariata, the Egyptians you see today you are not the first to see Egyptians. This man standing before you lives with Egyptians. It's not that I saw them. There, there, there is a level you get to as a leader. You don't conquer challenges. You walk through them. They, are, they become your companions. <laughs> ah, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says. I fear no evil. He says, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says this, thou prepare. You are not in a hurry. You are taking your time to prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. We are going to pray. God is ministering to us. Please, I want to challenge somebody. Go back and hold that thing you were doing and continue. I don't know who asked you to stop that business. I know what stopped you. Pain stopped you. You opened the shop and everything dried. Go and open it again. Let them laugh at you. Go and open it. When you succeed, they will bite their words again. Are we together? Yeah. Don't mind Nigerians and their sarcastic way of laughing people out of destiny. That's why only few people ever succeed. Are we together? The Lord is asking me to prophesy to someone here. 
that you should go back to what he asked you to do. God asks you to put your hand on that plow. I'm speaking specifically concerning work and career and business. There are people God directed to certain things. But because of your pain and failure, you are saying, look, I'm, I, I want to follow the path of least resistance. That's the path of failures. Are we together? Yeah. Never allow pain stop you from being consistent. Never allow the mockery of people. While they were mocking Noah, he was busy building the ark. While they were mocking him, after 90 years he continued. 100 years he continued. After 120 years, God said, Noah, get into the ark. I'm about to send the rain as I said. God told you this year you will hold your first million and you are saying God this is June this is June and God says don't insult me I am more than able to wipe your tears it's up to you to believe God oh this year you will get married God as I'm speaking to you right now there is no man in my life the last man who came came as as careless as he came that's how he went and God says it doesn't matter how long does it take to settle you let me tell you it doesn't take time to marry it just takes vision and finances once there is no money you shift dates when God brings his blessings he brings every resource to make it happen are we together yeah. God said you will be gainfully employed this year is June and the last place where you were holding on to air force just came out day before yesterday your name is not there are we together the person who would help you just called and said look young man um i thought we'll be able to fix you up at shell or chevron but i'm sad to announce to you even us we are standing to maintain our position and then you will know that by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail that's the time to hand over to God. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord. One more time. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. We are going to pray. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. Our God is an awesome God. Rise up on your feet. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. and say Lord I challenge unbelief I'm a believer you are not a liar 
when you speak you bring your word to pass are you praying inside and outside I believe you. 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 Manda brata shabarada balada bakosa pratika de balada bak. Go ahead and say, Lord, I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent I hold on to prophecy I hold on to prophecy hallelujah hallelujah I like you to open your mouth and cry before God tell him what must happen in your life this night what you are tired of that must leave you today not tomorrow lift your voice and pray don't be a doubter the power of god is able to touch you and change your situation you've had the testimonies of others pray pray it's part of the meeting Tonight, I hold on to the four horns of the altar. Shabarakato saparada barate ke barada ba shabarada ba leka press kabere to subaya na ba. don't stop you are praying the Lord will do a quick walk here tonight change my story oh God change that genotype oh God Open up that womb, oh God. Rakata baba baka parada basa kata balada barias. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome. In this place, Lord, you are welcome. In this place, have your way. Heal and deliver. In this place, heal and deliver. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Tonight will be an extraordinary night. It will be very fast. What the Lord will do. Very fast. The message is what you have received. Very fast. I like you to expect miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, no instruments. Stop. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. That's the instruction God is giving me. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray. I want to pray and I'm hearing the word breakthrough. That's the first thing I'm praying for. Listen, please. The moment I begin to pray that prayer of breakthrough, I want you to bring everyone under the anointing for that word. For some of you to surprise you the way the power of God will come upon you. I tell you, the moment the power of God touches you, know that this prophecy is for you. I hear the word breakthrough. Breakthrough. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I don't know where they are. Right now. Kabarakato zabarikata. I stretch my hands across the length and breadth of this congregation right now. Everyone under the influence of this prophetic word right now, right now, right now. The first overflow outside right now, right now, right now. Breakthrough. There is an angel of the Lord identifying men. Breakthrough. Bring them in. Breakthrough. Kata la kata. It's time for you to step into levels of breakthrough. 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 I prophesy it. As I mentioned that word, the grace, the anointing is visiting you. That stumbling block leaves you now. Breakthrough. 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 Angels of breakthrough. I release them across this congregation. Right now. In all the overflows, the thousands following us online, Breakthrough, the power of God is touching you right where you are, right now. Right where you are, breakthrough. Shaba katala katia. Mande brakesi kataya. The Lord will do a quick walk tonight. A quick walk tonight. He's touching you without delay, without delay. If it's your case, God visits you at once. If it's your case, God visits you at once. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. That's what I hear in my spirit. There are still others. There are still others. I see another wave of anointing coming. Breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. That's what God is bringing right now. Breakthrough. We'll be very fast tonight. Our time is gone. I tell you, there is enough anointing for anything you want. It's going to be a fast word. The Lord told me once, I mentioned the case. His power moves. I hear delay in my spirit. Get ready. Keep playing, Mike. Be sensitive, please. The strings. Right now, everyone under the influence of the spirit of delay delay just for delay right now right now like a string cut from you right now like a string cut from you inside and outside i command that spirit to leave delay 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 any destiny here under the influence of delay you can't stand it you can't stand it is the anointing of the holy ghost destroying delay that embargo of delay you are caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven the spirit of delay I curse you over God's people this is a miracle service delay that has kept you down that has kept you down that has kept your family down hallelujah lift your hands everybody the lord wants to visit families 
the second overflow outside i see the lord touching men as i begin to pray right now every family under any embargo at the count of three fire falls on you now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire inside outside embargoes over families embargoes over families take that fire take that fire take that fire by the message of the God of heaven take that fire take that fire take that fire is coming on you like rain like the dew of heaven take that fire hallelujah hallelujah i don't know who this mama is but madam an angel of the lord is touching you right now as i'm speaking to you fire is coming upon you an angel of the lord right now right now right now right now oh god once again confirm this call and anointing hallelujah 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 i'm seeing several gates opening hear me and the lord said this is the womb of many people please i want to pray for you right now the lord is opening barren wombs that's what god is showing me whether miscarriage or no children completely i don't care what it is lift your hands for you and for your loved ones lord in the name of jesus let the power to perform be released right now every barren womb for you and your loved ones i open it right now right now right now right now i open every barren womb i open every barren womb right now every barren womb be open be open be open barren wombs be open barren wombs be open Barren wombs be open. Barren wombs be open. Be open. Will you open up the gates? The gates. Open up the doors. I command every closed door over your destiny. Open up the gates. The gates. Open up the door. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every gate. And every door. Over my destiny. Be open right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Be open. There is an anointing to open it. Every gate, every door, kaparakata, kepere shopa, dele katu separia. Fire is burning in this place. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every chain tying my life stopping me from making progress in the name of Jesus 
chains be broken open your mouth and pray I break that chain I break that chain Kabataya. it's time to move forward by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost chains Zakata bakata leke teke te reke teke teke te be de bos e breke te koto soto koto makata ba 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 Alleluia Alleluia Lift your hands everybody I want to challenge powers. I tell you there are spirits that sit on the destinies of people. I believe that the prayer I'm about to pray for you right now will challenge this spirit. Hear me. There are men, there are women under the influence of strange spirits. That's right. That will stop them from advancing. But right now, at the count of three, everywhere in all the overflows, Father, I pray, once again, validate this anointing. Once again, validate this apostolic and prophetic call. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And I command every spirit to leave. One, two, three. Right now, right now, every power, Every spirit, every power, every spirit out of them now, out of their destiny now. Strange spirits, strange spirits like fire, it comes upon you. Ababakata lekete, shakata rakata, mariketo soto peketia. The refiner's fire, setting men free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Lift your hands. I tell you, I feel this thing on me right now. Ah! I want to pray for you. Watch this. The Lord is showing me a vision. And this is what I see. I see stones and I see fire falling on it. And the Lord says, these are the altars that have kept destinies down. Hear me, if you belong to this category, physical fire, physical fire will come on you. That devil must give way. Right now, I stand upon this apostolic call. I stand upon this prophetic call. Right now, fire, fire, fire on every devil. Fire on every spirit. Fire on every altar. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn every altar. Let it burn every altar. Release God's people. Release God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying. I see the Lord giving certain men direction. That direction will come like an anointing. You are asking God, what should I do? Where should I go? Right now, where are they, oh God? The power of God is coming on them. That's direction. You are receiving direction right now. Wherever you are, direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Confusion is ending. Direction on ministry. Direction on career. Direction on marriage. It comes to you right now. Right now. By the anointing, direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Ah. 
Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is giving me an instruction that we should pray in the spirit for five minutes intensely. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Something will happen to you. Go ahead. Blast in tongues for the next five minutes. Come on, pray. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. I tell you, pray in the spirit. Fire is burning. Hallelujah. 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 Who is Regina? Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina. Fire is burning in this place. The Lord is going to do a quick walk. Quick walk. Mighty walk. No power will stand tonight. No power will stand tonight. I command every power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. You know, bad days are times when unusual requests are granted. It was during Herod's birthday that the head of a prophet went. Are we together? The best way to celebrate your birthday is to dethrone principalities and powers. Every spirit represented here, I'm saying it again right now, no matter where you are hiding, I stand under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. If I be called and sent of God, right now, at the count of three, on your mark, get set. Go, 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 go. Out you go. Out you go. Pack your load. Pack your failure out of their destinies. Hallelujah. Regina. You are Regina, ma. Please come. Come on. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you, ma. And I'm seeing the spirit of death upon you. Don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I look at you. And I'm looking at a corpse. Like somebody that has died. I'm seeing what they call it um, um, cotton wool in the nose and the ears as I'm looking at you physically and the Lord is saying it's time for your miracle I don't know what is wrong with you come walk to me man hold my hands right now I command that spirit your time is over right now out right now be gone now be gone right now out, out, out by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's time for this woman's deliverance. Who brought her? Who brought this madam? What's wrong with her? Come, talk to me. Oh, chronic leg ulcer. Ah, I see it here. It's not healing. What is it? Is rotting or something? Is rotting? Is refusing to dry up? That devil, madam, 
you feel pain on your legs pain on your legs you believe God will heal you a spirit just left you that's what they call leg ulcer and the reason I don't know if they diagnosed you but I'm looking at you and I'm not even seeing a woman healed of ulcer I'm seeing a woman healed of diabetes huh? that's the cause of this thing that's why it's not here I'm not a doctor I'm just telling you what the Holy Spirit is telling me this thing is diabetes and that's why this thing is not healing stand up walk carry her up or God help your mother now why are you watching madam look at me in the name of Jesus Christ no, no you don't have to lift it I bring life to these legs look at me look at me look at me don't look at the legs move it move it go ahead don't be afraid just look at me move it go ahead move it move it walk come come to me come come lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up look at this go ahead lift it up look at this look at a miracle happening to her she's still under the power of the holy ghost a miracle is happening to her in the name of jesus lift it up that devil goes i command it to dry now not later right now it dries up dries up by the power of the holy ghost give jesus praise give jesus praise Lord Regina. hallelujah there is a lady from kogi state right now i don't know where she is but you will locate her by a shout I sincerely don't know what I'm saying. It's under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. There is bondage that has been for so long in your family. And God is saying today you are, you are set free. From Kogi State, one lady. Fire will land on her wherever she is. Whether it, where is she from? Who knows her? Where is she from? Eh? Is she from Kogi State? Bring her out. It's time for the salvation of your family. I stretch my hands on you and I challenge every altar standing against your family. They must let you go right now. Right now. Release her. I stand by an anointing and I, I challenge you. You are living right now. The Lord of Sabaoth brings judgment upon you. In the name of Jesus. Right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I don't know what God is doing with Kogi people. I'm hearing Okene, 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 Okene. Okene is a place in Kogi state. There is a visitation coming to that territory. Right now. People who belong from that territory. An anointing is coming right now. I'm not saying you should clap. I'm saying you should receive right now i don't know where they are but all those from okene i release an anointing right now by the power of the holy ghost inside and outside strange visitations god is bringing visitation to that territory right now if you are from that place that name is a code in the spirit it locates you wherever you are in the name of the lord jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, stretch your hands towards me. I see something. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Stretch your hands towards me. I see something like medals being given to people. And the Lord is saying, as this medal comes, He's increasing the grace upon their lives. Like medals. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord said, You should stretch your hands. I release my hands back to you right now. Not everybody, but there are people wherever they are. Shatabata. 
Teketetete E parakata Shaparikete Rise, rise, rise Rise in the spirit Rise in the spirit Rise in the spirit Kapatatatikete Ereketetetete Hallelujah. Prayer HOD. Come and hold your hands of your assistant quickly. Come and stand, two of you. Hold your hands and lift it up. A new grace. The gifts of the Spirit is coming on both of you right now. Strange gift. The Lord is saying is the season for you to begin to walk in the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit. Lift your hands. I see gifts falling on people. Gifts falling on people. Gifts, 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 gifts right now. Gifts. Help them, please. Help them. Gifts. There are men of God receiving gifts. Men of God. Men in ministry receiving gifts right now. I activate it. I activate it. Kapatayada. I activate it right now, right now. Gifts. Gift, the prophetic gift, the prophetic gift, the prophetic eyes to see, ears to hear, eyes to see, ears to hear. Kaba shakata, badi kata di kabaritos. Job said there is a part which no eye has seen. The wealth of the lion has not gotten there. Hallelujah. I'm still praying for gifts again because I see it. Hear me. There are many people you don't hear me pray this prayer but I hear word of knowledge. There are people who need to step into the revelatory gifts of the spirit wherever you are i stand upon this anointing receive it right now revelatory gifts revelatory gifts revelatory gifts ay 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 revelatory gifts kapatata rakatata abarata i stretch my hands step into that level the word of knowledge the gift of prophecy, the discerning of spirits. Ay 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 Hallelujah. 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 I'm looking at a vision the Lord is showing me, and I'm seeing the exact color of my dress. And the Lord says it's a mantle of favor. Listen, it's going to mantle people right now as I speak. Please hear me. Lift your hands. Favor. It's a mantle. You can wear it like a garment. Father, I pray there are people, this is the miracle you need. That mantle of favor. Across this building, the overflow, the next overflow, online, right now, on everyone, everyone under the sound of my voice, may mantles of favor come upon you right now. Mantles of favor come upon you right now. Lord, on everyone, let no one be left. Let no one be left. Wear it like a garment. Wear it like a garment. Wear it like a garment. Let it open strange doors for you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. My goodness. Now, listen. Before we pray for the sick, there's no time to just pray and ask them to come. And so we pray for the sick. But before we do that, if you have your prayer request, lift it up. This is very strange what the Lord shows me. Usually, we bring it out and lay it here. But the Lord is asking, please, if it's in a phone, maybe your loved ones wrote it, leave the phone up. It's not, we're not playing games. Please, please, don't come and waste your time. There is a God that answers prayers. My dear, come. You are Regina. I have to pray for you. Because the Lord is telling me that he wants to end captivity in your family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a lot of suffering and pain in your family. And the Lord is asking that I pray for you. Number one. Number two, for you. The Lord is saying I should tell you. It stops. I don't know what is that. But the Lord is saying it stops. From today it stops. Hold my hands. Father, bring your word to pass in the life of this lady. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Over your family. I command that that pain, that captivity comes to an end. And for you, the prophecy is that it stops. I don't know what it is, but I stop it right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, it stops. Kaba Shiba Ratusia. Ende la Rusa Praskubarita Shubriata Baladaba. Those online, I know that there are hundreds of prayer requests. No problem. The media department is stretching it by faith. Those outside, don't worry, you will lift it before we submit it. If there's something you should write and you've not written, you will quickly write it before we pray. But the Lord is just asking me to lift it up. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on it. And the Lord says for us to hold it and just pray in tongues for just a minute. Seriously and violently on your request. Are we together? In one minute, just speak over it. Are you not the God that answers prayers? Lord, when you speak, it may look foolish. When you speak, it may look foolish. But we choose to be foolish in obedience to your word. Pray! Answers are falling. Answers are falling from heaven. Just in one minute. Shabakata. Answers are falling. Answers are falling. hallelujah please lift it up lift it up i want to speak over it the lord is going to open the eyes of many people here as i pray and you will see the requests on fire physically at least i see seven people having this experience physically you will see fire i'm not saying physical fire i'm saying when the lord opens your eyes you will see it as though burning that's what is going to happen Father, you have given an instruction. We are foolish enough to obey you. Right now, upon this request, the fire that brings performance. The fire that brings answers. Let it begin to follow God. On prayer requests right now. Let the fire that brings answers fall on them turning the requests into testimonies turning the requests kabashikata ente karata there's authority in this place turning the requests into testimonies hallelujah now begin to forward them to the ushers please ushers quickly start collecting them while they are doing that please be careful with those in front some of them are under the anointing, so don't match them. 
You are here trusting God for healing. Specifically, I want to lay my hands on you now. Make your way to the front. You came with a sick person. It's time to bring them to the front very quickly. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. We believe. I like you to believe the Lord. There is healing in your name. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Let your faith be alive. The power of God is already touching people. It's flowing, Jesus. We believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name. Hear me, please listen. I don't care what the name of that sickness is. You must refuse and insist that plus your hair falling, you must be healed. Are you hearing? Don't say this one is not serious. Uh -uh. When you are coming here, insist and say, Lord, from my head to my toe, I must be healed. As we minister to you by the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing is already touching people. Some of you, we may not even need to come close to you. It's the power of God. While that is happening, I want everybody in the congregation, we are going to maintain an attitude of prayer. No carelessness and gisting around. Begin to speak to God concerning your prayer request. There are so many people who are proud to tell you this is a place of healing. In every city and in every territory, God must find a place where he can extend his healing power to his people. The Lord is showing me all kinds of infirmities. HIV. Diabetes. Tumor. Breast lump. Breast lump. A lot of breast lump. The Lord is going to heal you. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy, please come. We are going to pray. Listen. There is the anointing upon him. Come here, Jimmy. There is fire upon my hands. And I want you to touch that anointing. Go ahead. That anointing. That's what the Lord says I should tell you. To touch my hands and touch that healing anointing. That healing power. Miracle worker. Ah. You are the miracle worker. Come, Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Father, please heal everyone here. Everyone. And for those you are standing for, you have the photos of any everyone, don't worry. While we are coming, just show the photos, whether it's phone or whatever. We will lay hands on it. Believe God. Please, no commotion. As we pray for you, just gently walk to your seat. Because of time, we don't take instant testimonies. Please forgive us. But make sure you are praying. Don't just stand looking at others carelessly. Let your heart be open. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Help us. You made a way. Stretch your hands towards the prayer requests and begin to speak over them. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Those, those being prayed for, don't worry. Just focus. We are praying for you. But everyone, pray on the request. Out! Right now. Stretch your hands on the request and pray. I command the spirit of death to leave you right now. Please stretch your hands. Make sure you are talking to the Lord. We are not just whiling away time. You can move the mountains. Prophesy and say, Lord. You will visit me. You will visit my request Savior you can move the mountains my God is mighty to say he is mighty to say
you turn into wine you open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you let's have go right now like you. be free in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the holy ghost leave her right now go forever never to return I and command that spirit to leave her. Ashes will rise. There's no one like Out. you. Out! Oh, right now. There's none like you. Lift your voice and say, Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. the miracle service please stretch your hands here those still on the healing lines don't worry Jimmy will handle you please stretch your hands let's save time very quickly prophesy we're not wasting time please I want you to understand the nature of the service and what we're doing outside in any of the overflows just stretch your hands and let's trust the God that heals go ahead and pray Shabarako Subredika Shabriada are you praying? Prophesy. Lord, we declare the miracle walking power of Jesus. The miracle walking power of Jesus. The miracle walking power of Jesus. Go ahead and prophesy. Lord, I declare that these requests are turned to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus we declare we declare we have brought them before the altar they will never return to your life you have handed it before the altar it will never return to your life you've handed it before the altar of God it will never return to your life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do three things very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm going to speak over our lives right now. 
immediately after that we we'll take the altar call our time is gone but even if it's two minutes we have to give people who are making commitments for the lord hallelujah lift your hands everybody and receive the final prophecy these prophecies are powerful that's why you hear people returning back with testimonies the prophetic words change lives in my opinion you've heard me say it again and again i believe this is the most powerful part of the miracle service not everyone may come out here not everyone may fall under the anointing but the prophecy can come upon everyone in the name of jesus christ these egyptians that you see over your life over your destiny i declare that by this miracle service you see them no more forever i declare that you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus everything that has delayed you the level you are supposed to have been i don't know what that level is but i don't know what stop you from getting to that level right now between now and next miracle service run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced i pray for the works of your hands that has refused to grow in the name of jesus i declare the month of june and july months of supernatural increase that which is upon your hand is compelled to grow in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen from beginning of this year to this mid-year i command in the name of jesus you will experience it you will experience it in the name of jesus the bible says revive now thy work in the midst of the year in the midst of the year it says revive now thy work i don't know what has gone cold in your life maybe your prayer life maybe your word life but by the message of the god of heaven i pray let there be revival for you right now supernatural revival for you in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah before danger shows up in your life may god give you the eyes to see before men conspire against you may god open your eyes to see hallelujah where men have said you can never get to the embargo they have put on your destiny I tear it out of your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every student here. That unction, that anointing that gives men capacity to be extraordinary. I command it to fall upon you right now. I command it to fall upon you right now. For all final year students, there is a finisher's anointing. The grace that grants men access to finish in the name of jesus as you push this one last time may the heavens push with you may the heavens push with you in the name of jesus christ every disfavor every bad luck everything that does not represent the aura of favor in your life i drive it far from your life in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus whatever makes money run away from your hand whatever makes it to change direction when it's almost getting to you I command that spirit to live your life forever I release abundance of financial supplies to you. abundance of financial supplies the spirit of fear that has stopped you from rising up and doing big things in the name of Jesus, as this month comes to an end, it drives that spirit out of your life. I will always pray this prayer for you. I call again the helpers of your destiny. 
I don't know how to make you believe the power of this prayer. But in the name of Jesus, may they appear in your life. Hallelujah. I want to pray a special prayer for you. One of the blessings that God has given me in my life is unusual access. God has given me strange dimensions of access. Access to men of influence. Access to men of authority. I pray for you in this season. Whatever will connect you to men of influence, not just men who can help you, but men who have the ability to help you. May that connection happen in the name of Jesus. May that connection happen in the name of Jesus. Everything that has died in your hands, I don't care for how long, in the name of Jesus, I command resurrection upon it. I pray for you. The resources you have in your hand, grace comes upon it to multiply. Grace comes upon it to multiply. Grace comes upon it to multiply. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God that has distinguished men in this ministry. May that supernatural glory, that presence, may that aura go with you everywhere you go. Whoever has said no to you, I change their statements. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for your spiritual hunger. What good is it if you get money, you get all of these things and with it you lose your passion. That whatever you lose in life, may your passion for God not be one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you submitted here as a prayer request, we turn it to your testimony. We turn it to your testimony. We turn it to your testimony. In this period of my birthday, as the Lord blesses me, I pray that he will bless you too. Believe me, I'm praying for you from my heart that whatever God does for me, by his mercies, the mercies of the God of David, may he do it for you. As God lifts me, may he lift you. As God wipes my tears, may he wipe your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The next time we're looking for men to stand and testify genuinely in the name of Jesus, May your testimonies be so heavy you cannot sit back there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone called barren, go and return with your miracle children. Everyone called jobless, go and return with a miracle job. Everyone due for promotion, you had the testimony of prof. In the name of Jesus, may the God that lifts men promote you. Promote your loved ones. Promote you and your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. May you wake up in the morning and return back with miracles that will bring tears in your eyes. While you are sleeping, may God wake somebody to be wondering what to bless you with. Ay, 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 ay. our time is gone but receive this I say it again that while you are sleeping may somebody else stay awake wondering how to bless you every gift you have but there is no platform to give it expression so that it will bless you there are many of us who have potentials but those who need it, that access to them is far. I connect you to those who need your gift. I connect you to those who have the grace to celebrate you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. While others are walking, may you fly by the wings of the Spirit. May you fly by the wings of the Spirit. 
Don't doubt the prayer I'm praying for you. Don't let the devil make you think he's just talking. I'm not just talking. I say it again, while men are walking, may the Lord give you wings with which you will fly. Every family represented here, not just as individuals, as a family, return with your testimony. What you have been praying for to happen in your family, I declare that between now and the end of June, may you begin to record testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two minutes very quickly. You're surrendering your all and your heart to Jesus. Please keep standing, no movement around. There are two sets of people I want to invite here quickly. Those who are saying, man of God, I love the Lord but I need his help in my life. And those who are saying, I have never even made that commitment. Please, let's rise as we honor them. They need to be encouraged. I know there are people like that. We don't want to cajole you. God has spoken to your heart already. Outside and in any of the overflows, make your way to the front right now. Please, we have one minute for this. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for the first person. God bless you. Run out. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord is speaking to you and he's saying, make your ways right make your ways right it doesn't matter what you have done god is giving you as many chances as will take to be restored to him make your way to the front you need jesus the lord is calling you god bless you please if you are coming hurry up hurry up hurry up so that we save time clear the way for them especially in the overflow outside hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands if you're coming out then join them Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. We're hurrying up, but it doesn't mean we're joking. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you. Tonight, I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. I surrender my all. Take me. Use me. Anoint me for your glory. From today... I am yours forever. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this prayer will be sealed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. You keep rising from glory to glory. Your love and passion for God will never diminish. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for answer of the altar call. Just make your way out. There's someone waving his hands. They're waving their hands to you and they'll have your details. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.